Dave, Munster away, it's a big game for Grant Stewart to make his first start for the club. Yeah, no, great for Grant. Uh, he's a good young player, um, yeah, really good footwork, um, uh, really strong defensively, and um, so a great opportunity for him from a set piece point of view to test himself. And uh, looking forward to seeing how he goes. We had 17 players in with Scotland. We've got six of them back. One of them is Rob Harley. He's in the second row with Scott Cummins. Yeah, no, Rob's been huge for us. Um, yeah, massive work here that can, you know, brings um, you know a, a fair bit of brutality and so on. So. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's good to have him back in the second row. And Scotty, um, he's been out injured, uh, just get a cameo back off the bench last week and uh, ready to go. we got two big ball carriers in the back row, Adam Asher and Matt Ferguson. Is that the kind of game we'll be looking to play out there? Oh, look, what we know is that they're, they're really tough. Uh, they'll ask a lot of questions of Surround the Edge. And um, it's important that defensively and then with ball on hand that we can get some go forward. So, um, yeah, no, look, great to have those boys in. And yeah, Adam's missed the last couple. Uh, so, yeah, good, good chance for them to make a bit of a statement. The Horn brothers in the half-backs, will their familiarity help us? Yeah, I hope so. Um, both really good players. Um, you know, so George, um, he's, he's come off the bench the last two or three. Um, and uh, same with Pete, you know, he's played a lot of 12 for us so far this year. And, uh, you know, we're obviously excited about him as a, as a 10 option as well. So, uh, great we have his experience. Were you happy seeing Sam Johnson back up there last week? He's with Nick, Nick Gregg in the midfield this week. Yeah, he's probably short of a gallop, um, Sam, and uh, he'd be better for it. Uh, but look, I really rate him as a player. And um, obviously Nick's missed the last couple, and uh, it's a chance for him to to remind us of what he's capable of. Uh, really good uh, post-contact, um, league drive, and uh, really strong defensively, Nick. So, um, you know, it's important that he goes well for us. And Jacko and Rory Hughes coming to the back three, what are they going to bring? Yeah, well, Jacko's experience will, will be key. Obviously, we played uh, Tommy Seymour there last week, and... Um, about Jacko, one of our best players last year, and uh, looking for him to sort of find that form again. Uh, and Rory, he's had to be patient, um, but you know he played really well a couple of weeks ago against um, Zebra, and um, you know so what we know with him, he'll work really hard, he'll chase everything, he'll he'll, he'll tackle aggressively, and um, so it's going to be important against a team like Munster. And then finally, off the bench, Chris Osara is going to make his 150th appearance for the club. What kind of player is he to have around the place? Oh, he's a terrific man, fuzzy. Uh, boys love him. Um, he's, uh, oh, he's just a quality man. Um, uh, from an on-field point of view, uh, just been playing so well for us. So it's hard to leave him out, and um, you know, so he's, he's really aggressive tackle-wise. He's great post-tackle. Uh, he brings a real edge um, in and around um, game time and training. So uh, great man having the mix, and uh, really excited for him.